Hello, and thanks for joining me. Today, we're gonna to troubleshoot a check engine light that I got on my 2006 Volkswagen Jetta TDI. And uh, this TDI I've only had for a little bit. I paid a cool 1,000 bucks for it. It's got 245,000 miles on it, but it looks like it's in excellent condition. Um, I haven't done a whole lot to it yet. Um, I did run the uh, codes on the check engine light, and I have found errors on a couple different glow plugs. So today we're gonna dive in and see if we can figure out what's happening with the glow plugs. Let's find out. Okay, well, so right off the bat, I can see the harness here is not in the best shape. There's definitely some cracks here and here. And it is, wow, it's pretty loose. Um, so that could be the culprit right there if this harness is broken and not making a good connection on the plugs. Obviously we won't be able to get good glow. Let's see if it, oh no, okay. Well, that's, that's probably the problem. Oh no, they're all completely, completely toast. Okay, so this might turn into a little bit bigger job than I expected. The whole harness is completely just disintegrated. So I think that means I'm probably gonna have to get a new harness before we can get much farther on this. Let's see if I can at least get these things exposed enough to, look at that. It's just completely rotten away. So, all right. Well, that's at least, I know what direction I need to go in here. I might be able to temporarily connect these, but since I'm in here, I might as well go ahead and at least test the resistance on each of these glow plugs to see if any of them are actually bad. I do have a whole nother set of four. They're, they're not very expensive. So I, I'm considering replacing them regardless. This one still has part of the harness in inside here. It might make it a little tricky to, to remove. Might have to, there we go, break that a little bit. See if I can get my pliers on it. There we go. Boy, oh boy, okay. And get this one off. Okay, that's still left a little bit of rubber on there. All right, Whew. completely, completely rotten. All right, otherwise they look pretty good. Now the nut on each of those is a little bit rusty. Hopefully that doesn't cause an issue, but before I try to get a wrench on those, I'm just gonna stick my voltmeter on and see what kind of resistance we, we're gonna get on each one of these. I think we're looking for about one ohm. Yep, one there. One there. One there. And that one is less. That one's probably not so good. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that one looks pretty good too. So they might actually all be good. It might just be an issue of bad harness. But I do have these new glow plugs and they're so easy to change. I think I'm gonna go ahead and swap them out. Okay, removal of the existing plugs will require a 10 millimeter deep well socket. So go ahead and see if we can get these back out. See how these look. Fingers crossed it doesn't leave anything inside there. you guys can see this but man those are that is charred but that's probably typical let me show you what a new one looks like in comparison all right i'm assuming these are the original glow plugs 245,000 miles all right let's get the rest pulled out
Okay, as a temporary solution until I can get a new harness, I went ahead and just reattached this connector that had ripped off, added a, a dab of solder. I'm just gonna go ahead and just connect these to the to the tips of the glow plugs and see if we can get um, if we can get anything to work for us. Okay, I've got all four glow plugs replaced. They're torqued down to about 10, roughly 10 foot pounds. I think 11 is in the book. You can see I've just temporarily reconnected the wire for each glow plug. Uh, this harness is obviously in pretty bad shape. So I'll be on the lookout for a new one. So the next thing we're gonna do, pull, get in the car, see how it, uh, how it reacts, see if we can clear the codes drive it a little bit and see if we're in business. Okay, I've got VCDS connected and hooked up. Still getting the check engine light. We're gonna go ahead and just scan for codes real quick and then clear them. Hopefully nothing's new since the last time I checked. If you guys have any questions about how this works, um, just you know, leave me a comment or shoot me a message and I'll see if I can help you out. Okay, so three faults, glow plug, cylinder one, let's see, glow plug, cylinder four, and glow plug, cylinder two. So as expected, the only engine faults right now are glow plugs. So we'll go ahead and clear those. All right, we're done. We'll go back. We'll go ahead and close out of here. And we'll go ahead and just exit for now because I don't need to do anything else at this point. All right, I'm just going to start the car up and see how it does. If it starts any easier than it has before. Okay, got the glow signal real quick this time. And the check engine light is gone. So I'm going to drive around for another day, give it a couple more starts. Fingers crossed, maybe we just took care of the check engine light.